Marave Shabab. Welcome to a new part of this CICD tutorial series. In the previous part, I mentioned I want to have um, different subdomains. I want a, s a separate subdomain for our front end, like the WW. I've also mentioned it here in my part two article on Medium. And I want to have task minus manager for our API. And in order to achieve this, we have to jump to our Linode dashboard. You know, Linode dashboard, you see domains. Click on your domain. Uh, in the Linode tutorial series, we just add this wildcard. We can remove it right now. Say delete, delete. And whenever we are adding a subdomain for our uh, main domain, we need to add it as a C name. So just click on C name. And there you can just type WW. For, this will be served for the front end, for our front end. Allow us to add, we'll point to our domain. In my case, amazing.ai, say save. And like I mentioned, I also want a separate subdomain for the API task minus manager, task minus manager. And also say here add get also added here as you can see host name this is our subdomain and analyzes to our domain in my case it's amazing.ai and yeah of course you have to also do it on your uh, domain provider where you just purchase the domain here as you can see i already did it here it's the same process you give the ip address to your um, domain and the cname for your domain like i have it here also with c name and make sure but please make sure you do it on both sides where you purchase the domain it's on my case for, on world for you and you do it as well here on uh, the linode dashboard and so after five to ten minutes i would say it should be saved uh, we can check it right now uh, let me just we will check it with the uh, command tick. Uh, www in my case is amazo.ai. And yeah, we have already a CNAME entry here that was pretty fast. We can also do it with uh, task manager. Task minus manager. And uh, it works for, and we have the C name for taskmanager.amazo.ai as well. That's great. That's great. So the next thing is um, where we have configured our subdomains, but, um, we need to also do it to do the configuration on Nginx. So the Nginx redirection uh, works properly. Just let me just clear the screen. So we have to connect again to our instance. I'm logged in. That's great. Now we have to go to the sites available of the Nginx folder. So just say cd slash etc slash Nginx tabulator for autocomplete sites minus available. Okay list all scripts here we have an amazo.ai file let's say sudo vim amazo.ai it will ask for a password of course copy my passwords paste oh okay great <laughs> um now in the linode tutorial series what we did we already added a subdomain ww but we want one more and we also want a certificate for the new subdomain so basically add it here uh, www.amazo.ai here we say task minus manager dot amazo.ai so this is the these are the server names for the yeah for https because here you can see the listen to 400 I mean, you can see it here, here and here. This is for HTTPS. 
just let me just remove those unnecessary line breaks so and of course we have to add them as well here also remove the line breaks here so as you can see we have here meso.ai www.meso.ai and we are also adding a task minus manager dot amazo dot ai so that should be it we have now added in the this is the server block for http you see it on port 80 here and this server block oh gosh it's, it's yeah this server block here don't don't ignore what's what's here uh in this server block um 443 um, HTTPS SL as you can see and this is for HTTP so so save this colon W Q exclamation mark to check if everything what went smoothly and right just cut your your uh, domain name scroll a little bit up 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 here we say server name in the HTTPS server block. Okay, task minus manager is added. In the HTTP block server block here, which is much smaller, all the task minus manager dot Okay, that looks good so far. Later we'll do later we will do the parts where we redirect things to the proper subdomain but first we have to check if the config was also successful just say sudo nginx minus t everything went successful nice the config is valid that's great and as i said later we will do we will format the file and we will add the redirections in this file in the server blocks but now let's install the SSL certificate so the task minus manager dot uh, gets all the proper certificate uh, HTTPS certificate so let's say sudo no, but first clear first clear 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 and say sudo cert bot minus minus engine x And say enter okay as you can see it found now in our sites available uh, domain file it finds it founds now three domains that's great da, 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 da. we want to select all so just say enter you have an existing certificate blah, blah blah it says we already have certificates for these type of domains uh do we want to expand so we want to expand of course just type e and it says or oh, renew an existing certificate for amazing that there are two more domains and it went successfully that's great that's great and now we can start to adapt our file so basically what we are going to do is just first clear and hop again to sudo.vim.amazo.ai open the file and now we are doing some configurations first i will just go through and yeah basically i will delete everything which is what is inside here um this might take a take a while i'm just uh, deleting like that because i don't want to delete the whole file because i don't i have to set again the symlink and i'm too too lazy to look up the command for it so basically i will delete everything then i will explain what we are going to do so see you in a second so i finally managed to delete delete the content of the file and um, copy paste the actual content i will show it 
to you with the nano editor so basically the most important thing is i mean as you can see i just already adapt the file but as you can see it's not pretty well formatted i don't know why something with copy paste uh went fail but doesn't matter let's go here to here to my medium.com article part two here as you can see it's nicely formatted um, as you remember what we did we had a task minus manager dot your domain um, and then we, we installed the new certificates and so on and so forth what I also did is so basically you can also copy paste this whole file and replace your domain with as you can see with your actual domain and what I did is when a user here we have an if condition um oh god what happened now okay um uh, as you can see okay um as you can see here we have a condition when the user types um task minus manager so this is then the host task minus manager and the domain we say redirect return 301 it's a redirect to slash api it comes here to the location api and when it says okay um here the host doesn't start with ww and the host doesn't start with the with the plain domain it goes it goes on and it returns the localhost 1990 which is our backend and yeah the same logic applies here when when the user types ww and when it comes to the api section it checks okay there's ww so return to the location slash same for the plain domain and that's basically it here for the this is the https part and as you may, might remember we have also in the server a http part port 80 also added the domain and here we just say return https host the entered host from the user it doesn't matter if the user now enters um ww or task minus manager or just the domain with the request URI, which is the slash or not, slash API or just plain slash, and then it comes here and here the checking happens. Here in location, location, location slash and loca location, location slash API slash. And that's basically it. You can just copy paste it from my, here from my medium.com article. And I would say we can go on. And now we can check if the configuration is valid or not. Let me just copy paste this command so first okay now we can cl uh, close this uh, it's control x on mac so 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 ah, sorry this is the, this is the, i'm totally wrong sorry this is the <laughs> a wrong command uh that, 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 that. this is the one sudo engine x minus t check the configuration so this one it asks again for a password where we have it, here we have it. So syntax okay, test is successful. That's nice, that's nice, that's good. Latif. So next thing what we are going to do is to reload the Nginx config. Let me just grab the com comment here. So just say paste. So what it does, it reloads the Nginx config. It doesn't restart the Nginx web server. This is what we want. It just restarts the config, the reloads the config, I'm sorry. Okay, now this happened, it got reloaded. And now let's, let's just jump to our home directory with CD. Now let's just say CD nodes. We have the backend app here and say, now we want to start the backend app because it's pretty sure not running because we restarted the server one that previous part i think what was it let's start minus tulip as you can see we have no 1990 or 1991 running so let's just say note backend app and let's start it with no hub and now it comes the command node, the node command to start any Node.js application. So, or 
or just any JavaScript application and say end at the end. Okay. Now let's do the same, just we need to add up the path. It's not backend, it's frontend and also in the frontend folder we have the app.js. Okay. Now let's check. As you can see, it's up and running. That's good. And now let's check it out. I would always suggest when you check out things like that, go incognito. So avoid some other things like cache and so on. Let's just type the plain domain, amazo.ai. What happens? Hello frontend. That's good. Now let's just say task minus manager minus amazo.ai. Hello backend. Redirection works. As you can see, task minus manager goes to amazo.ai. That's amazing. Let's say dot amazo.ai. Yes, that works as well. That's nice. And yeah, as you can see, it works. That's great. You can also test it in on another, yeah, on another browser if you want, like say here. Uh, by the way, I was watching Core Dump. He he has pretty good videos around some kinds of technology. I also highly recommend his YouTube uh, channel. Very good stuff. He has there. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's great. And now you can uh, now we have now we have uh, enabled the redirection when the user types task minus manager. And like let you can test it right now if you just yeah if you just type www dot your domain and now API what happens? Let's see. It goes to front end because it checks before this thing here the subdomain. And same for yeah, same for task minus manager. You can, I mean you can test it how much you want, like here, amazo dot ai and sla say slash here, and it still goes to back and it goes to API route because it checks before before in the subdomain. Okay, uh, that's it for this video and catch me in the next one where we install Docker and, uh, and Docker Compose. So see you soon. Ilalikaya Shabab.